super kick and get ready for this ride. C360. Nikki's rocked. Zoe Star on her Monday night. What up, yeah? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoon's Delight. So let's get to it, man. Zoe Stark's official SmackDown debut. I mean, uh, no, my bad, y'all. <laughs> official Raw debut. Um, I talked in the last video how that backstage segment set up this match with Nikki Cross. It was a great segment. If y'all really want to hear my thoughts about what I thought about that segment, definitely go to that video. I get into a lot of detail in that. I'm just going to mainly talk about the match in this one. And we'll go over some stuff about Zoe Stark and what I thought, you know, about her. But this was a really good debut for Zoe Stark. Obviously, she uh, was in a situation against Nikki Cross. Bit of a jobber match for Nikki Cross here. As uh, Let's get into it. So, uh, Gray started out by saying, you know, Stark is the heavy hitter. Stark cut off Cross's offense with a big clothesline. Then I mentioned that she was a heavy hitter, Corey Gray's ass, uh, in that segment. And then Cross battled back with punches and then drop kicked Stark's legs out from under her. Cross followed up with another uh, drop kick, then went for a tornado DDT. But Stark uh, blocked it and then tossed Cross across the ring. And then Stark followed up with the Z360 finisher and scored the pin for the 1, 2, 3 in about 2 minutes and 30 seconds. And let me just say something. Her finisher... I think it's a slightly better version of CM Punk's GTS. For some reason, this one looked it more deadlier. Because I don't know what it was. Like, when... Okay, when Nikki Cross bounced off of uh, Zoe Starks' thighs, you kind of heard the impact, the slap from the thighs or whatever. And it sounded like it had a better impact. I don't know... It just looked it a little bit more. It looked like it, it, it just looked a little bit more colder than CM Punk's G, GTS. You guys might be like, "Nah, you're crazy." Now nah, CM Punk's look better. Hey, if you thought it do, you know, let me know in the comment section, man. I respect whatever you thought, but to, for, for me, it looked it better, and it got a reaction. Like I said, I was in the chat room doing the match, and people were loving it. They couldn't stop talking about it. Like they were talking about it through the next commercial break and everything man and I, and Zoe Stark overall had a great debut this is a strong like I said they haven't really done a great job especially since Triple H is in charge, has been in charge of these NXT debuts this is probably the best one I've seen so far since he's been in charge like this is the best debut he made Zoe Stark look strong from start to finish bro the match the backstage segment before this I loved it man because Dude, if she, because right now the women's division clearly needed someone like Zoe Stark on it. And I think she delivered the goods, bro. She delivered the goods. And this was great, man. This was this was phenomenal. We hadn't seen Nikki Cross in a while. By the way, what happened with the whole Candice LeRae thing with, like, Nikki Cross? Like, why did they just end that? Hopefully now that Nikki Cross is back and Candice LeRae is with the way. We're going to talk about that with Indy Hartwell. Um, after this, I think, yeah, I believe wait, was, yeah, I think that was after this. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, I want to know what happened with that. But back to Zoe Stark, man, this was great, man. Um, because one of the things that you need, you need a dynamic personality. You need a, uh, a good in-ring performer. I think Zoe Stark has both. I think Zoe Stark has both. I think she can do this. She's a pretty good heel. Um, and uh, I think you got it. I think you got, I think, but I think the first thing you do with Zoe Stark is you continue to make her look strong. Like they've been doing in this, in, with this match, continue to push her, have her win a lot of matches, but you also put her in a heel group and she becomes one of the leading forces of that heel group. So I think you got to do that, man. Like really make it to where Zoe Stark can like people's like, this is, a, this is an upcoming star, a future champion because she can easily, like, with her heel character, she can easily be a pretty good heel character that's got the championship, bro. Like, I think she's got it, man. I think she's got the package, bro. We'll, we'll see how it goes, man. But go ahead, get this video a like, man. Hit the like button for me. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Give me your thoughts, man. Thank y'all for watching. After news to like.